video to help demonstrate a foolproof way of securing a grazing muzzle onto your horse's halter. Now, grazing muzzles are used in order to decrease the amount of grass intake that your horse has, usually during the peak growing season, such as summer. Muzzle manufacturers have claimed a 40 to 60 percent decrease in grass intake while your horse is muzzled. But please remember to always consult your veterinarian before you make any dietary changes for your horse. Now, most horses adapt very well to wearing a muzzle, but if you have determined that your horse or pony is going to need a muzzle for the prime growing season, I recommend you buy one in the early spring, way ahead of the prime growing season, so you can get your horse accustomed to wearing the muzzle by wearing it out um, during their turnout for just a few hours at a time each day and building up until they are able to wear it outside for the entire turnout period. But before you do that, it's also very important that you teach your horse to um, how to eat and drink from the muzzle, as well as making sure that all of your waterers outside are able to accommodate for muzzled horses so that they um, don't get stuck in the water. Mooney is our 23-year-old four-time national champion Missouri Fox Trotter, and he has foundered several times, so it's very critical that he has a muzzle on from early spring until late fall and sometimes even early winter. But Mooney is one of our Houdini horses who is able to escape almost any muzzle that we put on him. But finally, we have come up with this foolproof method that we're going to show you that he has not even been able to try to escape. At our bar, we use muzzles that attach onto our horse's breakaway halters. That way, if they ever get caught on a fence or a post, they can easily break free. So let's get started. For added security, we are going to put duct tape on both ends of the leather straps of the halter so it cannot become unbuckled. It is still able to break away if, our, if your horse gets stuck. However, it cannot become unhooked by him simply rolling. Next, we are going to duct tape all the Velcro closures where the muzzle attaches to the nose band of the halter, so they cannot become undone as well. Next, if at all possible, do not cut a bridle path on your horse, because we are going to section off a part of the mane right behind his ears to braid. We will use the braid to secure the muzzle. If you must cut the bridle path, then section off a part of his forelock for the same purpose. But keep in mind that you will have some hair loss because of the braiding, but most of it will go back during the winter months. Remember to adjust the tightness of your horse's muzzle using the crown piece so it is flush to his mouth and prevents growth. Now onto the actual attachment of the halter and muzzle. First, cut an 18 inch piece of baling twine and lay it over the top part of the leather piece of his halter between his ears. Pull the braid toward the back of the horse and underneath the leather and twine. Now wrap the braid around the leather and twine as many times as possible before leaving the end on top. Are you going? Then make an overhand knot on top of the halter and braid. Take one end of twine toward the back and one end toward the front and cross underneath and make another overhand knot on top. Repeat going opposite ways with twine and finish with a double overhand knot. You can trim the ends of the baling twine if need be, but for this purpose, we just wrap the loose ends around the halter. This series of knots is very easy to untie once they return to their stalls by humans, but still too hard for the horses to get off while in the field. From all your friends at Prevailing Winds Farms, we hope this information was helpful. And while none of us enjoy muzzling our horses, it is one way to keep your own horses as healthy and fit as our own mountain moonshine.